here it is the west coast of Australia the ocean a bit choppy welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel Australia's largest YouTube channel got to be an optimist eh? but on a serious note at the time of filming we're at 95 subscribers so the next five people that watch this have to subscribe we have to get to that milestone 100 subs Bye bye new friend, it was short lived So I did try to film this confession video, we'll call it on Tuesday, so the day after I crashed but because I've been filming my K100 build I had my gain set too high on the camera and it was just distorted clipping. I'll show ya. Already the K100 build is coming along nicely. We just got our Jack's Garage triple clamp come in the mail, so that's bolted up to the bike. We are now waiting for the wheels, which are off it, getting sandblasted and powder coated. Once we get them, we'll be able to fit some tires, and then we'll be able to go for a test ride. You have to remind me I've got to tighten all the bolts because I'll forget. It looks like he's walking how I feel after I crash my bike. Hectic lad. Good day for a ride, obviously. Woody! So yeah, if you haven't already, go check out the K100 build series. New video dropping soon, just adding a few finishing touches off to it. And then that will get uploaded hopefully this weekend. Once we get the wheels with tyres fitted, we'll take it for its first shakedown road. Pretty keen to get that done. wonder if I'll make it home on the amount of fuel I've got. I'll report back. Not if I keep doing that. Bloody hell. Right, bit of West Coast Drive action. Arguably one of the best roads in Perth, I think. Argue with me. Empty is flashing. It's a high chance that we won't make it home. Far too cold to go for a swim in the beach. Dominoes. Domino scooters. When I had my snack accident, uh, I was wearing pretty much what I'm wearing now, exactly what I was wearing. Maybe different underwear, not quite sure. But, so these are just normal jeans and a normal woody. This is actually one of our branded woodies. Horns up, coat. Not rated, but it held up pretty good. There's not a, a scratch on it where I come off. The jeans, you know, there's a bit of bark off there where my knee got hit, but they held up pretty well as well. So yeah, testament to the hoodies. Check them out in the link in the description below. Get yourself one today. 
I'll be your crash test dummy for them. Open for takeaway. Somehow, I think not. Give the boys what they want, eh? Need to find a fuel station before I have to start pushing my motorbike to the petrol station. Alright, so almost a week ago now, I crashed my motorbike. This very motorbike right here. Literally 30 seconds into my ride, two corners away from my house, I crashed it. Just like a squid. And I think I've learnt my lesson. So, you can see this roundabout up here. This is our culprit. And the scrape marks are still there as a reminder. So every time I ride through this roundabout, I get a little reminder of not to be a squid. You can see right here in front of me. Straight up here on the gutter. Like an absolute twat. Now I got out of this pretty lightly. I, um, it was a low speed crash and it was completely my fault. Fucking stupid squid move that I did to myself to make myself crash. It was almost like I got a stick and poked it in my front wheel spokes. That's what it was almost like. The bike come out fairly okay. The exhaust has got a bit of a crush and scrape on it. The worst part of it is the tank right here, if you can see that, but it's got some dents and scratches here. Bar ends a bit scratched up, mirror's broken, but that's all right, all that can be replaced. I ended up with a graze to the knee. My knee copped a little bit, not much. Graze to the forearm, you know, a little bit of road rash. And a bruised and battered hip, which is still fairly tender today. I got up, walked away, got on the bike, rode it home, so. Nothing too major. Could have been worse. Is there going to be a service station in here? Can't see any signs for a service station. <laughs> big bump. That was a big bump. BP. Yeah, baby. At least now, if we run out of fuel now, we can just roll down the hill. See, that was all planned. Well, why are you out of me? Still haven't blinker on. So, the culprit. You can still see a bit of it on the tyre as we speak here. If it's coming up. Off the sides. I've tried to rub it, wash it, scrub it. <laughs> Kawasaki Vulcan! Vulcan Brothers! So yeah, there you go. The culprit behind my crash. Turn your blinker off, you squid. Squid boy actions were caused by trying to make my bike look nice. So obviously I use tyre shine on the car when I wash it, spruce it up a little bit, you know. So, you know, it's the first time I've probably washed my bike since I've got it in almost 12 months. Well, treat it. Put some tyre shine on. Now, I did obviously get a little bit of overspray on top of the tyre, on the tread. Not much. So there wasn't much on there. I, I'll show you a clip. If you can see, you can probably see the shininess here. That is slippery. And it's, it's slippery on here. Like, it's a stupid, a simple thing. It was such a simple thing. Uh, it was just stupid. You can see the shininess there. It is what done us over. Never use tyre shine on your motorcycle tyres, kids. So, here it is. The old tyre shine. Eh? Luckily, this was nearly empty, so I got only did the front wheel. I never got to do the back wheel. Um, but yeah, so it sprayed the wall and yeah so that brung me unstuck uh, a bit of road rash 
on the bike, handlebars, you know, that can be replaced. A little bit here on the foot peg, nothing much. Oh, on the brake pedal, sorry. Bit of a dent in the Delkovich, unfortunately. The road rash there, it's bent it up. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have my camera on on the day that I binned it. Uh, so you're just gonna have to take me word for it. Use your imagination. Pretty quiet at the moment, this is about what it was like when I crashed. But you can definitely see the scratch marks there. And then the scratch mark on the gutter as well. It's a bit unfortunate I didn't have my camera on me because I would have liked to have replayed it just to see if I did do anything wrong, like did I touch the front brake a bit too much or something, but yeah. I don't think so. Thanks for joining us on this ride. See you on the next one.